Tonight, a developer is pushing to build a working vineyard at Communications Hill in San Jose. It would serve a dual purpose, providing a fire break and producing grapes for a local vintner. But KPIX 5's Len Ramirez reports not everyone is toasting the idea. Well, just about everybody likes the idea of creating a vineyard here with lush grapevines, creating a sort of Napa Valley or Tuscany feel for Communications Hill. What they don't like is using their homeowner fees to pay for it. Homes sit at top Communications Hill, but there's barren, unused land on all sides. Real estate developer Jerry Stranges wants to change that. What you have right now, as you can see, is just an undeveloped landscape of just brown weeds. We think we can do better than that. Stranges is one of the original visionaries for building a community on the hill. Now he wants to add a finishing touch that would turn the hillsides into lush, working vineyards producing grapes to make wine. He says a recent 4th of July fire on the hill made him even more determined. Having a working vineyard up here would act as a fire break. San Jose is studying the plans, but the city wants to use up to $400,000 out of a community assessment fund to test soils and develop plans further. But some owners who pay into the fund through a special tax say hands off. Not a problem. If some private company would like to pay for that, I'm all for it. But when you have public investment to subsidize private profit, I got a problem with that. Other residents say creating a bucolic vine-covered hill would also enhance property values. You look outside and instead of seeing something that's, you know, kind of rocks falling off the side of the hill and just dirt and debris, you see a luscious green landscape. Nick Patel wants the plans to move forward with minimal cost to residents and hopes to someday sit back with his neighbors and enjoy an inviting glass filled with a San Jose vintage. We'd be able to enjoy a bottle of San Jose. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5. On Tuesday, the city council heard public comment on the proposal but postponed taking a vote.